A little more than an hour ago, Attorney General Carl Racine announcing a new lawsuit against the Washington Commanders. Thank you for being here with us at 5 o'clock. I'm Lorenzo Hall. And I'm Adam Longo. If you're counting now, that is two lawsuits in two weeks. Now, this new one alleges that there was an illegal scheme, right, mm -hmm. to cheat ticket holders out of their deposits for season tickets. Our Eric Flack. Our chief investigative reporter looking into this for us tonight. What do you got, Eric? Hey, this is the lawsuit that came into our newsroom just about an hour ago. I was at last week's press conference when Racine announced that first consumer protection lawsuit against Snyder and the team and promised more news on the ticket deposit investigation this week. Well, we got it. This latest lawsuit accuses the commanders of an illegal scheme to cheat district ticket holders out of their deposits dating back to 1996. The lawsuit says the commanders promised ticket holders would automatically get those deposits within 30 days of canceling seats, but instead the team held on to the money and according to Racine used it for its own purposes. The lawsuit goes further and claims when ticket holders requested that the deposits be returned, the commanders intentionally complicated the return process. All this first came to light when a former commander's employee reported the practice in testimony before the House Oversight Committee investigating the team's toxic workplace culture. Racine says the commanders have returned some of the money to ticket holders, but he says as of March this year, they still held nearly $200,000 in unreturned security deposits paid by district consumers. And the AG claims the team also forfeited thousands of dollars from district consumer security deposits and converted that money into revenue for the team. This new lawsuit follows the lawsuit the AG filed last week, we told you all about, accusing the commanders and owner Dan Snyder and the NFL and Commissioner Roger Goodell of colluding to deceive district residents about an investigation into a toxic workplace culture and allegations of sexual assault. And we have reached out to the team, its attorneys, and anybody else who speaks on behalf of the commanders. We are still waiting to hear back for comment on this latest lawsuit. Back to you. Yeah, we know, Flack, from this uh, lawsuit, from some of your prior reporting, in cases, it seems the team also held people's deposits for more than a decade. More than a Which decade is, in cases, and now they started uh, sending some of them back. We reported on that as well. Yeah. Uh, season ticket holders randomly getting deposits back now. Obviously, that was not enough. Yeah, okay. Eric Flack, we know you're going to stay on top of it. Thank you.